Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda, a Link Between Worlds. I'm Zelda Master and well in this episode, we're gonna be entering Laurel's Castle. So let's go. And hey look, it's Princess Hilda, I believe, so. Can you hear me, Hero of Hyrule? You have arrived just in time, for you guys escaped my bonds, and his minions are loose in Laurel Castle. Give me a moment while I remove the barrier that protects my castle. Then make haste, Link. Aw, oh, I was hoping I would be able to destroy it with my sword, but... Oh well. Okay, that works for me. So it is time to enter Laurel's castle. Here we go. Ha! I, I, don't, I don't know why I did that, but... <laughs> I sliced in the castle. The door has been... Wait a second, I just realized the door is a lot smaller from the inside than the outside. It's the opposite of Doctor Who. <laughs> I didn't even watch Doctor Who, but that's what my little sister told me. She's like, everything in Doctor Who is big on the inside and out on the out, small on the outside. I, I don't really know. It's kind of like any Zelda game or any game to be exact. Everything on the outside is usually smaller than on the inside. And by that I mean like houses and structures and things. But okay, so anyways, here we are. Um. We're inside Laurel's castle, and we're going to be taking it on in this episode. I don't really know if we're going to be doing everything within this episode. By that, I don't mean if it's going to be the finale, but we're going to be taking on Laurel's castle and seeing how far we make it, because, yeah. So, uh, there are some rupees here. We don't really need the rupees, because we're pretty much at the end of the game. Uh, and in general, we have pretty much everything you can get within the game, because it's 100%, of course. So, I don't need anything. And, yeah, here is a knight with a ball of chain with fire on the ball of chain itself. And we're going to have to kill him to advance. So, really easy. I'm going to grab this heart as well. And, ooh, some skulls. Wow, these have a lot of stuff in it. It's pretty interesting. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and continue with Laurel Castle. So... This is actually a really interesting castle, it reminds me of uh, a couple of previous Zelda games because, well, you're going to see what I'm talking about in just a bit. Um, I'm going to not talk about it until we make it to it, so yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to enter this room really quickly and uh, you're going to find a reoccurring uh, strategy slash tip you want to kind of use and that is, well, if you go ahead and, uh, what's it called, put out these torches, you'll find, yes, a, um, it's a great walkway that will take you to this chest. So yeah, there we go. And the reason why um, we can't see it when we're near it is because I have my lamp out. But if I put my lamp in like that, I can see it perfectly. But I, I, I kind of want my lamp because this room is really dark now. So yeah. Anyways, I really love the music. Uh, I believe it is like kind of like the Hyrule Castle theme, but backwards and kind of uh, rearranged to sound good, because if you just really got it backwards. It sounded a little weird, but... Um, anyways, here we are in pretty much the main room of the uh, castle. And by hitting the switch, it will have that appear, but it doesn't really matter. Um, what I want to do is do well a leap of faith to this Triforce, and did it really just jump like that? Well, that's pretty cool. I'm going to open this chest if it will let me. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to jump down and open it up. Apparently, I was, like, on the ledge of that, <laughs> which you can't normally access, as you can tell, it gets higher than us, but, um, yeah. I went ahead and got myself a small key, so you want to jump all the way down to the center to get yourself a small key, and then head back up. Uh, I believe if we actually take this, uh, portal that's over here, we'll instantly teleport back to the top, so let's go ahead and do that, and... I was hoping we wouldn't get a transition and we'd see like the camera pant all the way to the top because this is all one floor, or it's, it's rather all in one room, several floors rather. So, anyways, this door right here um, has to be activated by taking on four different uh, mini trials basically, and that's why it kind of references other Zelda games because it's kind of similar to the boss gauntlet in uh, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and it's kind of like Ocarina of Time's uh, trials where you'd go through similar dungeons to kind of, kind of like similar rooms that are similar to the previous dungeons you took on so yeah with this small key we can pretty much access the other two trials and we can pretty much pick which one we want to take on first but before I take on a trial I'm gonna go ahead and open up this chest and this is going to give me the compass and if we uh, take out both of the, whoops, I don't know why I relit that. If we take out both of these torches, we can stand on this really thin walkway that will take us to this chest. And this chest is going to give us a red mail. <laughs> yes, now we are red link. Look at that. We're not blue anymore. And it's actually really cool. I really like the red mail. 
uh, within this game. So a lot similar to uh, a Link to the Past as well. They have several colored, uh, you know, tunics, and you know, from green to blue to red. Red is the final one, of course, as you can tell, because we got it now, and I believe it gives us more defense. So that is pretty interesting. I actually believe it gives us more damage, rather. I didn't really get a chance to look at it, but if we go ahead and check out our gears, I believe we can read what it does. So, uh, it provides excellent defense. Okay, so it just gives us more defense as well, um, which is fine with us. I mean, the more defense, the better. So I'm going to go ahead and take on the first trial. I went down here because I believe this is a trial that you don't need an item for, um, but all of the other trailers, you're going to need a specific item to actually go through it. Uh, so I highly suggest you have all of the items. Luckily, we pretty much bought and upgrade every single item from Ravio, so we're set. Anyways, let's go ahead and take on the castle. So, um, here we go, first trial, trial number one. And this is actually a pretty easy trial. Actually, all of them are relatively easy, uh, if you know what you're doing. But that's kind of like with anything. Anyways, so here is uh, the door that's locked. Basically, every single try is going to have a locked door. You're going to have to get the key, unlock the door, and fight like this mini boss like thing. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and open up this chest. And this is going to be the small key. I'm kidding. Why would I give you the small key so easily? It's going to be a monster tail, but we're going to get the small key. And if you look on a compass, we can actually see where uh, a chest is. And it's up there, so we're going to have to get that. So what we need to do here is head all the way up here move this demon statue and have this boulder just start rolling down on these platforms until it hits that and there we go uh, we can advance so yeah that's kind of like the main puzzle within this room and now what we want to do is merge on the wall here because we can't continue through there and we'll make our way to this room and here we are um, in a room where we're locked and there are these appearing basically what you want to do is you're going to notice the tiles are going to try to attack you so you want to stand close to one side of the platform you're currently standing on. It will activate these uh, purple platforms to rise up and it will block all of the tiles trying to hit you from your left or you know if you're on the right from your right. Uh, basically the ones behind you and you can easily use your Hylian shield to block the rest of the tiles that are in front of you. So let them hit us and once we do that, the this will rise and that will rise and the doors will open and everything will be awesome so yeah now we can continue <laughs> the music is so nice within this palace I really like it. it's really fitting it really reminds me of Princess Hilda I really like her as a character uh, you know her being someone who wants a hero and all of that I don't know, to me that's really cool anyways what we want to do here is see this, these gigantic spiky uh, boulders well we want to somehow lead it to the end oh wow it actually it actually fell we basically want to lead it all the way down here, so let's go and try again. So, come with us! Alright, we're going to have to merge on the wall really quickly, this is the only way to do it. Ah, okay, we're good. And we made it. And once we do that, it's going to hit down that ball, and that ball will continue rolling. And now we can actually head up here and take a nice sharp turn to the left and pick up this small key. Yeah, now I'm going to try something a little dumb, but let's see if this works. Oh, it does, okay. So you can easily, um, Use your Pegasus boots to jump over uh, there and make it on that platform. And now we can continue to where the door that actually has the lock on and use a small key and head inside of it. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go. We're heading down and we're going to go ahead and fight a mini boss. So who is it? Oh, it's that. Uh, I, I don't really like this enemy. Um, because, yeah, it electrifies itself and it hurts and eh, I don't want to hit it. Also knocks you back pretty far, so you want to be careful because you might be knocked back like that. See, as you can tell, I get knocked back a lot from it, so yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but it's generally kind of easy at times if we're cornered on a wall and we don't, we don't have it doing crazy stuff to itself. Okay, I'm hurting myself a lot here. Um, hopefully I'll be able to... Kill it. It's. I mean, it's glowing red, so we're almost there. I can I honestly use an item. I just want to use my sword since this room only requires your sword, or technically doesn't really require anything. But yeah, so I'm just gonna stick to the roots and use what my uh, what my something gave me. <sighs> I don't really know where I was gonna go with this. But okay, so yeah, there we go. We defeated it, and now if we enter and true enter through this portal, um. One of the sides of the doors are going to light, basically one of the four uh, things on the doors, and yeah, 
basically we need to light all four of them. So now that we finished one trial, let's go ahead and head to the next one. So I'm going to step on this switch. You're going to need your bombs for this one. Let's go ahead and take out our bombs. Um, I have them right here, and let's do this. All right. So this one, as you can tell, we're going to have to be hitting switches left and right, up and down all the time, um, and it's pretty much the main theme here. And luckily, they actually give you bombs here. I think in some areas, though, you're actually going to need your own bombs, so yeah. I don't think this will save you in any sort of way. Alright, so I hit that switch so I can have the red ones go down, and I believe now what I want to do is pick up this bomb really quickly and throw it on the other side. Oh, okay, I was too late. Because of that, alright, there we go. Hit the switch. Continue on. I believe I need to put a bomb here. That's why there's this wall right here to prevent an arrow or anything to hit it. You have to use your bomb to head up here, so let's go ahead and wait. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and kill this guy since he's right near the bomb. I'm also going to kill that. Um, yeah, I believe we're going to have to head up here, so I'm going to have to throw a bomb like this. Come on, explode. There we go. I believe there's a chest right here. Yes, there is. And that is a red rupee. Nice. All right, so now what we want to do is place a bomb right here, run all the way to the other side to these red uh, switch things, platform walls, and yeah. <laughs> now, as you can tell, there's one of these really big bombs that explode those ginormous rocks. And believe it or not, we're going to have to take this ginormous bomb all the way to the end because one of those ginormous rocks is actually covering the chest, kind of blocking access to the chest that holds the small key. So let's go ahead and do this. So just click A to have the bomb lead you. And um, yeah, here we go. Now I'm going to have to be careful because of the enemies. They'll most likely target the bomb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck them with my bombs over the wall so I can be safe. All right, so now what I want to do actually is... Oh, there it is. I was wondering where, like, where did the switch go? I, I need to advance, but yeah, there we go. Alright, and uh, I believe we just need to head over here, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw this now. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're good. We're almost there. We're almost at the end. Oh, and we killed that guy on accident, which is good. I'm going to throw this bomb here. And he's dead, and we're good. Okay. Now, I need to, <laughs> I need to be careful, because if I slice my sword, this bomb is going to go off if it hits it. So, I have to stay away from it. And there we go. And be careful because literally this thing is going to um, try to hit the bomb as well. So you want to block it with your shield really quickly. Make it to the wall and there you go. Yeah. Wasn't that hard honestly. But there we go. Now we have the small key. And basically if it explodes you have to go ahead and get a new one of course. Because they grow back once the previous one explodes those you know gigantic bomb plants. But anyways now we can advance with the small key and take on the mini boss for this section. And that is... Yeah, a purple Krabby Patty, yum! <laughs> it is another uh, Moldorm, so here we go. We fought a lot of these throughout the game. Seems to be a reoccurring boss. I guess because it's, it's so classic, A Link to the Past style in a sense. This time we have walls inching in on us and then they just go back. I don't, it doesn't really change the difficulty in any sort of way. No matter what, just try to hit its tail. Whoa, okay, now I'm just screwing up a lot. I can't even hit it once. Come on, Link, you can do it. You hit his thing. Okay, there we go. Um, I believe like a couple more hits. It's getting darker by the second, which is good. All right, and I got it. I got it. I'm gonna. Oh, I keep getting hit. <laughs> Playing really reckless, though. I don't have to worry about that. Um, okay, he's going really crazy. I guess, I guess it is kind of difficult when the walls are closer towards each other because then he just moves all over the place, and it's really hard to get a good shot at his tail. And I like how there's only one more hit left, and. It took me that long to actually hit him, but there we go. Once he's defeated, we can enter this portal that will take us back to the main room of the castle. And well, yeah, it's another trial done. And uh, yeah, now we can continue on and take on the other two. So awesome. That one obviously required bombs, so most likely the other two are going to require different items. Um, they're not really picking any specific item. They're just picking random items, really, because, I mean, yeah, we have used bombs a, a lot throughout this Let's Play. And the lamp, actually, so that makes sense. But you'd think Bo would be the last one, but it's actually the hook shot. So, yeah. I mean, I'd understand if we used the bow, that'd be definitely a trial you'd want to take on. But the hook shot, I don't know. The hook shot, you only used it for, like, one palace, and that's kind of it. That was a swamp palace. But, whatever. Let's go ahead and take on the, um... The lamp one so yeah 
We have our lamp already on us. We're set. We're ready. We're gonna do this. And if we, uh, what's it called? Go ahead and, um, hit the lamp. We can easily, what's it called? Light it out, of course. And we can see our walkway. This is a lot similar to the Dark Palace, but these weird walls approach and they, they block the way if there is no light within the room. But if there is light, we can't see our path. So what we have to do is memorize where we're supposed to go, kind of memorize the path and where we're supposed to go, and go ahead and light the torch, and then go ahead and walk through that path. It's actually really simple. Um, it's not hard, that hard to memorize, especially since they have these weird like peg things all over the room. So let's go ahead and see where we're supposed to go now. We're supposed to like inch up here, so I'm gonna light this. I think I got this just like that. And yeah, we made it. All right. Now I have to see where I have to go next, and that is over here. That is a chest, everybody. So let's go ahead and light this again. Run over here, and I believe. Oh, that I blame that skull. Kind of stopped me from running, but there we go. Whoa. Okay, I'm still a little bit off. <laughs> and I suck. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, what's it called? And see exactly where we're supposed to be going. Okay, literally right in front of the chest. So I just walk forward after I relight this torch. So let's go ahead and walk forward like this. And there we go. Now we just need to walk up to the chest and we're done. Now I don't see myself making it back to that torch. I'm going to jump off. And if you couldn't tell, every time you jump off, when the torch is lit, it will take you back to where the torch is because. I mean, you can get lost in a certain area and never make it out of it because the floor is invisible and you can't, like, uh, unlight the torches because you're stuck on a certain place. So, yeah, that's why they take you back if the torches are lit. So let's go ahead and relight the torches again and run up here. And I just realized the bomb is going to, yeah, have the torch go off again, which is kind of dumb. I keep doing that on accident because I always have my bombs out. But there we go, we're done, and let's go ahead and enter this room with the key. So this is the next one. This one was actually extremely easy. But yeah, I'm going to keep my torch on me for this one because you can tell there are walls covering this uh, knight with the fireball and chain. We already fought one of these before, and is he actually, like, blocked? I don't... How do I get around this? I don't... Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we just can go ahead and wham him with our sword a couple times. Hell, he's dead. Okay, come on, hit him. There we go. I'm too lazy to, like, unequip my lamp, so I'm just gonna keep it on me. But there we go. Once we do that, we can advance, and there's one more trial left. So, yeah, so far it's so easy, really. This has been extremely easy. Um, not too hard, I must say. So let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, take on the final trial, guys. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and yeah, we're going to need our hookshot for this one, so let's go ahead and equip the hookshot. I believe this is the hardest one, and that's why it's kind of like the last one within the palace. If you're going from, you know, left to right, and then go upstairs and left to right. I mean, that's how I was taking it. So yeah, actually, no, I took on the one that was on the right, then left, then left, then right on this floor. So I guess I didn't really take it in the order they wanted you. I don't really know if there's a specific order, but I have a feeling this is intended to be the final one because, yeah, it has uh, this, the uh, floor master, or rather wall master. I don't really know. I keep getting confused with their names, but you have that, and it's going to try to um, hit you and grab you and take you back to the beginning of the palace, so you want to be careful. Um, what we want to do here is wait for these platforms to come in on us and yeah we can continue on we're actually gonna need the floor master to break certain things for us and hit certain switches um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stand right here and not actually kill him I don't want to kill him right now because I want I want to use him <laughs> for certain things but first off I want to go ahead and pull the switch oh geez link no 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 okay I might be a little screwed no no we're fine all right Hit this. All right, we're good. Yeah, I'm not going to kill him, because when you do kill him, he's gone for uh, a period of time. So, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to kill him, because I'm not going to be able to ride this without worrying that he might grab me. But basically, I want to make my way up here. And yes, really similar to the uh, Skull Woods, where we have to put uh, 
eyes within these eye holders because they're kind of like eyelids and stuff so let's go ahead and do that and we're gonna go ahead and use our hookshot to move this platform that's on the lava kind of like in the swamp palace there's like a raft and you'd move it in the water by using your hookshot but basically now we need this hand to hit this switch yeah so that's why that's why I didn't want to kill him as often but whatever I mean he did what I wanted, so we're good. All right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and actually make my way over here. If it does look like he's gonna hit you, you can easily merge on the wall so you don't get grabbed by him. And there you go. Super simple. I believe we're at the end of this. Now what we want to do is, well, another type of puzzle that we're gonna have to use him for, and that is, you see these three switches? They all have to be hit. So we're gonna have him hit one, believe it or not. So we're gonna have to be really careful that we move just as he's gonna hit us. So there we go. Oh, what? I actually took out my shield, so it slowed me down, and believe it or not, we are taken back to the beginning of this room, which actually isn't that big of a problem. I can easily run up here and just do, you know, okay, let me just wait. Just make my way through this area really quickly, because luckily we already opened up this door and all of that junk, but yeah, I, I kind of failed there. But we're going to need the hand. I actually took out my shield, though, while running. Like, I clicked R for a split second, and when Link takes that shield, he actually walks a lot slower than usual. So, yeah, oh geez. The freaking uh, bat almost got me killed. Alright, there we go, we're good. Now, let's go ahead and get ready to just avoid him. Take out this enemy, pull this switch over here. Don't let me, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for him to grab me, and. Go! Okay, there we go, and step on this one. Now they all have been hit at the same time, and it will open up that, and now we can grab this eye. We're obviously going to need him to hit it as well. I believe you can actually use a bomb at this part, but whatever. Or is it playing the Hyrule Castle theme in Ocarina of Time, I think? Or kind of like a rendition of it. Anyways, I'm actually going to kill him right now because I have to make my way all the way back with that metal platform in the eye, and that's going to take a bit, so... Yeah, and we're not going to need him right now. We're going to need him in just a bit, though. Like I said, because he's going to be the guy that's going to help us solve puzzles and interesting stuff. But yeah, okay, good. Thought he was going to knock me down. I hate these enemies so much because you know, they don't they don't let you be. They, they constantly want to annoy you and stuff, but yeah. Okay. Thank God we have that stamina upgrade because it's been so helpful as of recent. Because I can just spam my items constantly. Alright, so... Go ahead and do your thing. Try to hit me. All right, nice. We go ahead and merge on the wall like this, and make my way over here to the next eye. So, yeah. Now we're getting in once again to try to hit me. He's gonna end up hitting the platform the eye is on. We can go ahead and merge over here, and believe it or not, you can actually have uh, the eye. Oh geez, you can actually uh, drag the eye towards Link by using your hook shot so yeah but now on this side I have to wait for the platform to appear by the time I actually get a chance to use my hook shot on the eye the floor master most likely will be back <laughs> he's coming back guys I don't need him anymore and that's why I want him dead forever but there we go actually okay so we're done let's go ahead and throw the eye here and hey guess what he's still not back and we get the key and we can advance let's see if we're not gonna see him at all all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him two seconds. One, two, okay, you're not back. Goodbye forever, oh jeez. <laughs> I got stuck there, now I got to see his hand one more time. He's just a hand though. So anyways, well, when you look at that, yes, we used our hookshot throughout that trial room thing, and now we're gonna take on the boss for the Swamp Palace, the one that we used our hookshot for. So yeah, pretty interesting, kind of a nice, uh, I. Uh, flashback to what happened in the Swamp Palace and yeah don't worry but even though like every single trial is themed like it's, it's the same theme as the whole uh, castle the whole little castle which is lava base so yeah um, it wasn't really a throwback to the swamp but I guess he is as you can tell it's a different color because I believe the boss was like red this one is yellow I believe because it's a lot stronger but it doesn't really matter. We also have upgraded gear, so we're not gonna, really going to notice. But let's go ahead and start focusing the eye and take it on. So, yeah, here we go. I like how it literally just jumped on us. We couldn't even stop that in any sort of way. But 
Yeah, this boss actually was one of the more easy ones. Because when it tries to hit you with this weird beam, you can easily avoid it and just go ahead and constantly attack it. Just run around, really. Or you can merge on the wall if you're not confident enough to, like, run around and, like, somehow avoid the beams it shoots in the water that instantly explode. But there we go. We are done. Has been defeated. And that does that, everybody. So, goodbye. All right. Now it is time to enter this portal and make our way into the door itself because I believe it's going to open right now. Yes, look. They all have been lit and the door opens. So there we go. Now, they weren't exactly trials, but I like to refer to them as trials because, you know, you had to use items I used in the past and do similar puzzles that were helpful in the past and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so... Before I do continue on and head back to Yuga's Chamber, I believe that was the name of it when we first uh, met Yuga when he was resurrecting Ganon. I'm not entirely sure, but before I head over there, if we head to Hyrule's place, we can see, yes, fairies! Fairies galore, everybody. Now, I could put one in my bottle, but I don't think I need one. Because whatever happens next, I don't think a fairy will save us. We have to see what we can do. So, I think that will be done within the next episode. So in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and make our way through here and make our way to the chamber and uh, see what's going on with Yuga and Hilda and all of that crazy stuff. So, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. I've been Zelda Master, and I'll catch you guys in the finale of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds.